Do you have do you have any good tips on preparing specifically for Black Friday Cyber Monday? And and you guys obviously have a really multifaceted strategy. But any any tips out there for people trying to prepare for for specifically those kind of sales? Um, <laughs> make sure you can handle the sales that are going to come through. Uh, so we fulfill our own orders, right? We don't drop ship. Um, and that Black Friday Cyber Monday, when you hit it with an aggressive offer like we do, um, we blow it out. Uh, and it, it we're we're very clear and transparent on our checkout page that hey, listen. We're a, we're a, we we ship our own stuff. It's going to take us about two weeks to ship this stuff. Uh, and we we send them two or three different emails to make sure they don't get upset with that. But that that was our biggest hiccup in years past with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, is that with our aggressive offers, we weren't prepared for the actual sales that we were going to get, and we rely so heavily on repeat customers and making our customers happy. That that's been our biggest hiccup. But, but but we fixed that, so we're prepared this year. We're prepared to ship a hell of a lot of. Uh, orders uh, in a short period of time. When you say aggressive Black Friday, does that mean aggressive in the in the discount you offer, or aggressive in like no. in in how much you hit your 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 mm. audience? Uh, in, aggressive in the giveaway that we're doing. Uh, uh, okay. In the offer, we don't we don't really do. We're not a big. Uh, we've found that with our demographic, the discount doesn't really doesn't hold as much weight as actually giving away a physical product, right? Mm. Having something tangible for them to touch, for them to gamble with, so to speak. Um, but, but yeah, we don't do a ton of discount offers. But when I say aggressive with our offer, I'm saying aggressive with something that they might be able to win or because we run that giveaway model, right? That's right. Even in the off season, that was a question I had. So in the off season, when you're not building shows around uh, modifying trucks, right. uh, what, like, what, sort of, what are the giveaways you, you rock with during the off season? Uh, we're Same always thing. on giveaway, right? Like we always give away trucks. We never, that has nothing to do with the TV show uh, technically. Oh, okay, okay. We're always, we're always six weeks on and then we take about a week to find a winner and then we go six weeks back on. Uh, we're always trying to be on a giveaway of some sort, whether it be we're giving away a truck, we're giving away a side by side, we're giving away a vacation, whatever we're doing. We're always trying to have something for our, our, our customers to be entered to win. Yeah. It's okay. So this is a question I, I thought of originally when I was, I interviewed Alex Brown last week, the founder of the beard club. And he was talking about uh, his, yeah, he's a, he's an absolute thug, uh, smart guy. Great, great facial hair fits right in with the, with the group. Um, <laughs> but, uh, he, yeah, he was, he was talking about the sort of psychology that underlies his, that, that particular.